Okay, guys, first of all, quick shout out to everybody who is supporting the Minimal Golf Co. Kickstarter campaign. You guys are awesome. We're about 12 days in at the moment, 20 days left, and we're over halfway of our goal to raising goal of raising fifty thousand dollars so that we can get this golf bag actually launched, which I think a lot of you guys are stoked about because it has this little phone holder to make your bag into a tripod, which makes it easier to film your swing and send it to me. But I want to talk about this tip that I gave on Instagram the other day that a lot of you have asked about. Um, it's a little bit more of a complex tip, so disclaimer: this may not be for you. It may not be something that's going to like instantly, actively improve your game, but I do think it's something that you should understand. So I was talking about getting deep in the video. I was talking about getting down and loaded into the ground. And interestingly, there's a, there's a funny video going viral on, uh, um, on Instagram from the Masters this week of, of this exact move, but essentially what I was talking about happened because Ken, who flew in from Florida to have a day and a half of lessons here in Manhattan Beach, he was turning very level, so his shoulder turn was very flat. What we'd see is kind of go like this, he would go like this. So even though his club was square to his arc, his arc was uh, very kind of round and his shoulder turn was really level. And so what he had to do to hit the ball was lift his arms, and then he would get kind of a steep shaft and he'd come over the top. And so you kind of have like a collapse through impact. So the first thing we worked on, the, the biggest thing we worked on the whole time was getting his lead shoulder lower. So from a dress, getting him to feel like his left shoulder went straight down. And it made his shoulder turn more vertical, which also kind of put his club on a really good plane. And so now his arms didn't have to lift the club up off his body and it kept him from coming over the top. So by turning his shoulder more down, he got the club on a really good plane and then he was able to just sort of, once he was down, he was able to explode through the shot. So there's two parts here. Number one, when you're getting that lead shoulder more down, you're really getting your body activated in like an athletic or an explosive state. So when that lead shoulder goes down, your body's completely activated. You're ready to do something very athletic. If the lead shoulder goes back level and you lift your arms, now your arms are disconnected from your body. So it's a different, it's a different move altogether. So that's one, getting the lead shoulder down to get the body activated. And it feels like you're loading your legs. It feels like you're putting that shoulder down and when you do it, you feel like your legs kind of activate or load up. The second part, which is actually really cool, is this jumping part or this exploding part. And that's after you've loaded, after you've turned that lead shoulder down and you're really down to the ground and you can feel this athleticism in your legs, from there, it's actually beneficial for you to explode or kind of uh, jump a little bit with your legs and your body. And what you'll feel is you bend this left knee, now it's going to straighten as you explode through the shot. And by exploding through the shot, you're actually increasing your body rotation, which is decreasing club face rotation. So increasing your body rotation decreases club face rotation, and a lot of you guys know that from watching other stuff, but this is a massive increase in body rotation, and you can't have an increase in body rotation if the club is, is coming from the outside or it's disconnected from your body, because your body actually needs to stop if the club's out here in order for you to hit the ball. But if the club's on track, your body needs to really explode. So this explosion increases body rotation, by increasing body rotation, the club head doesn't overtake the hands as quickly through impact. So you're maintaining the radius of the arc, you're maintaining a square club face, you're maintaining the loft that you're with which you're attacking the ball. So all of these things are creating consistency. So again, to sum it up, it's two parts. Also, it's, an, it's a next level kind of tip. This, if you don't, if you're hitting the ball solid with a predictable curve, you do not need to add this to your game. But if you think you might be a horizontal shoulder turner with an arm lift, this is something you probably do need to be aware of and understand. That the lead shoulder needs to go more down to load the body, and then once it's down, we can explode through, and that explosion is going to keep us from flipping and rolling and losing those angles at impact. So one, lead shoulder down, two, coming through impact, as you feel your body loaded, 
from about right here, they call it P6, position 6, position 7 being the impact. From P6 to the end of the golf swing, you want to feel like you are just exploding as hard as you can through impact. The better you explode through impact, the faster your body rotates, the slower the club head rotates. So it's going to stay square longer and you're going to hit straighter shots. So I think that sums it up. Um, thanks again to everybody who's supporting the Kickstarter. If you haven't seen the Kickstarter campaign and you maybe need a new golf bag and you'd like for it to be easier for you to film your swing, go to kickstarter.com and check out Minimal Golf or just type in golf and I think we're still on the first page. Um, and if you have any questions about this loading and exploding or this lead shoulder down and then the explosion through, feel free to write comments or send me a message. I'm happy to comment on that. And, and congratulations, Tiger Woods. How awesome was that? Okay, guys, have a great week.